Grayson was our first child. We thought maybe something was a little bit off pretty early. We were told the wait lists for diagnosis with autism are really long, and I think they've only gotten worse from friends that I've talked to now. The computer can see things that the human eye simply can't see. Well, when I first started doing autism research, the average waiting time for a parent who's worried that their baby or child might have autism is about a year. And so the challenge was how do we come up with an app to be able to detect those early symptoms of autism, such as not making eye contact, not having normal facial expressions in a child's home. If a child is diagnosed at 18 to 24 months and provided two years of intervention, the average IQ gain is 17 points. So this has a huge impact on people's lives. And when I met Guillermo Sapiro, and he showed me that we could do what I've been doing in the clinic using a computer, that was an amazing moment for me. So I've been doing computer vision and machine learning basically all my life. Using computer vision and machine learning, we wanted to see if we could help create an automatic analysis of autism and autism spectrum disorder. Guillermo can use computer vision analysis to assess things like facial expression and attention. And so we built a set of movies that elicit these behaviors. And then we can show these on either a smartphone or a smart tablet and use the camera in the device to measure the child's response. The data gets sent off from the phone to the cloud and then we would be able to analyze that data, run it through our algorithms to produce our estimates of where the person is looking at. Now that we have this tool, what we hope to do is combine the eye tracking data, the gaze data, along with the motion and jointly see if they can help in the assessment of the risk of autism. Families simply don't have access to the professionals that they need. The idea that we could use technology to increase access, that's just a wonderful thought to me. Every minute, every hour that you're able to, to implement those strategies, that's helping your child learn that social development and learn it with you. And as a parent, that is really rewarding. Yeah. I think that if we can do just a small thing to change one kid, I think I would go to sleep with a smile.